So today we're going to talk about using fasting to rid chronic inflammation. Now, inflammation has a couple purposes. One, it's there to repair uh, injury. So you sprain an ankle, inflammation comes in there to help bring all sorts of immune cells to help repair the action, and also to bring in scar tissue as a part of the healing process. Um, then you have a defense mechanism uh, against infection. So you have certain microbes, bacteria, yeast, candida, nanobacteria, which are very, very small microbes, mycoplasma, which is a kind of a microbe without a cell wall. It uses inflammation to help contain these microbes. Let's say you have a sinus allergy where your immune system is generating this mucus to help contain the pollen or dust or grass particles, which your body is considering a, a threat to these, its survival. And then you have food allergies, right? Where people are allergic to all these different foods. And in this video, I'm not gonna get into why you created that allergy in the first place. The fact is that if you have a food allergy, every time you eat it, you're creating inflammation over and over and over. So all this inflammation generates scar tissue uh, in the lungs, in the joints, in the liver, because you can go from hepatitis, which is inflammation in the liver, to cirrhosis. And you also get scar tissue from actual placking in the arteries from some type of inflammatory condition in your vascular system. Now, when you go from acute inflammation to chronic inflammation, this is where it's inappropriate, okay? Chronic inflammation does you no good. It has no long-term survival benefit. In fact, if you take autoimmune conditions, for example, you have your own body attacking itself and you have all this collateral damage that's going on. So people are forced to take um, prednisone and steroids because cortisol suppresses an overreactive immune system. And this is why people take prednisone, for example, for all these allergy reactions and autoimmune conditions and skin conditions, which are inflammatory. And people take these because the adrenal glands are wore out. No longer can you make this adrenal hormone anymore. So your adrenal glands are exhausted. So you have to bypass the body and give it the uh, steroids directly. The longer you have inflammation in your body, the more insulin resistance you get as well. So there's a huge connection between inflammation and insulin resistance, okay, which is a pre-diabetic situation. And also cancer spreads into areas of inflammation or old injury, which is very interesting. Okay, so now that you got that, what can we do about it? Well, fasting. Fasting is the most powerful thing you can do to turn off chronic inflammation. Now, if you injure yourself and you have normal inflammation, fasting is not gonna get rid of the normal inflammation. Fasting turns off certain genes related to inflammation. So picture this, you have your genetics, which is like the hardware, which doesn't really change. But you also have the software that controls the expression of certain genes. And the term for that is epigenetics, which means above genetics. It's the software that causes the expression of these genes, and that relates to your environment, your food, your nutrition, your stress level, exercise, when you eat, when you don't eat. But fasting turns off the genes that causes inflammation. Now, if you have an autoimmune condition, there's a couple things you can do to turn that off. Number one, you can fast, okay? Or number two, you can get pregnant. So apparently pregnancy also turns off the same gene. So you have a couple choices. You can either stay pregnant, keep having kids each year after year, or you can do fasting. Now you can also take vitamin D because vitamin D acts like cortisol in the body, which is an anti-inflammatory, but fasting done correctly, which I always recommend doing intermittent fasting and then gradually working into longer fast and then doing periodic prolonged fasting, especially if you have autoimmune conditions because it's the inflammation that creates all the damage. And if you can get rid of the inflammation, problem solved. Fasting also bolsters and increases your antioxidant network. Your body actually makes antioxidants. So fasting will increase this to repair the damage from the inflammation. Also, if you're fasting and you don't have as much inflammation, your adrenals don't have to work so hard. So your adrenal glands can start to recover. Fasting is very therapeutic for the adrenal glands. Plus, when you get rid of this hyperimmune response, your histamines go down, your energy goes up. But if you have any chronic inflammation in your body, you need to learn more about it and try it. It will work. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now 
and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.